What's up? This is Ray. We're back. Hey, today we got a special review for you. I've tried a lot of tripods in my life, but this is the first time I'm trying one that is professional grade. This one's made of all metal. It's magnesium. It's corrosion resistant. It can go from the height of the ground to taller than I will ever need and a lot of things in between. Uh, this tripod was sent to me by KNF Products. I want to thank them for sending it out. Uh, so I'm going to show you everything about it, pros, cons. So if you're curious about a affordable but professional grade tripod that looks beautiful, looks like it's made out of aircraft parts, uh, stick around. We're going to be checking out the Kent Faith tripod. Stay tuned. Hey, check this out. One thing you notice when you're looking to buy a tripod, you notice is there's so many different kinds. And the reason is there's no one tripod that can do it all. You may want a small travel light tripod that fits in a backpack. Uh, and you also may want another tripod that's tall and sturdy that can hold a heavy camera with a big lens. And there's no one tripod that does it all. But the curious thing about this tripod is it's trying to do all of that. Um, and what I mean by that is, for example, most tripods have three leg sections. This tripod has four leg sections. Uh, most tripods have one center column. This one has two sections in the center column that telescopes. And what that means is I'm six feet tall. When this tripod is fully extended, it can reach a height that's well beyond what I can look through the viewfinder. So it's, it's kind of overkill in the height area. Also, most tripods are maybe a foot and a half tall, uh, meaning if you want to do ground level macro shots, you can't use it. This tripod can articulate in such a way that you can put the camera at ground level in about two different configurations. And that is also unusual. The third thing it has is this articulating head that allows the camera to bend over and be moved horizontally in several different motions and it can also be panned. Um, and it, has a, it feels like it has a certain amount of fluid in that articulating head so you can turn it smoothly and slowly. So um, as you can see, it, the tripod does a lot and a lot of the features it has you may not need yet but one thing you know is you it's very hard to realize that you're gonna outgrow this particular tripod it's that cool and there's a reason I said this tripod is trying to do everything um, this is not a video head tripod a video head can pan up and down left and right with a smooth movement this one though has fluid in the panning head and watch as I turn it see how smooth it turns you don't have to worry about your handshake affecting how smooth it turns um, no matter how hard or soft you press it, it has a resistance that tries to keep a constant uh, turn in motion. So these are the controls of the tripod. This big knob right here is what loosens and tightens the ball head movement. And when you have a big camera on the, like this on there, you want to make sure you hold it in the position you want and tighten it before releasing it. Uh, that's something to keep in mind because if you release the tension and let go, the camera will fall over. There's a knob here, a smaller knob, and this is what controls the, the tension in the panning movement, the fluid panning movement. There's also another small knob here that also controls the panning movement of the articulating head. And this big knob right here is what you loosen. It allows you to raise and lower or articulate this head. This tripod has another trick up its sleeve. Looking at it, you would never know that it is also, or should I say, it can also be transformed into a monopod. One of the legs can unscrew. Um, you can put this telescoping center section on top of that monopod. Uh, you can, of course, put the ball head on top of it. Uh, or you can put the small adjustment head on if you don't need all of that weight or complexity. It's going to be hard for me to find a circumstance where I can't use it. The only time I think this tripod may I may not use is if I'm going on a travel 
and I'm trying to pack very light, uh, I may choose a smaller tripod that could fit in my pocket or something like that. But other than that, um, it's very versatile. Okay, so as you can see, this is a pretty advanced tripod. It has a lot of features that a, a normal beginner may never use and it, it might even intimidate some of them um, looking at all the controls. I know my wife, for example, <laughs> I don't think she would ever come close to using all its features. So it's good to keep in mind that this is a professional grade tripod. If you need something that's more simple and basic, um, there's other ones like that on the website also. Um, keep in mind, they do have smaller tube version. There's three size tube versions that you can get these in. Small for like mirrorless cameras, this size medium for DSLRs and there's a larger uh, diameter tube that would you could put a red camera or a film camera on it. Uh, so check out the website. There's a lot of cool stuff on there. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave them below. Yeah, so that's what's up. That's the deal with this Kent Faith line of professional grade tripods. As you can see, it's legit. It's going to be hard for you to find a circumstance where this tripod won't meet your needs as far as the way it articulates. It may not be the tiniest or the lightest tripod for traveling for example but it wasn't meant to be that uh, if you want more information on Kent Faith products visit kentfaith.com I'll also put a link if you're interested in getting one of these yourself I want to thank you for watching and keep in mind no matter what tripod you use to create until next time keep it real